Assalamu alaikum students how are you all i hope you all are doing well and safe welcome to another lecture of inspiring science in class 1 so we will start our today's lecture with chapter number 4 kinds of animals in this chapter we are going to read about the different kinds of animal let's start our lecture with this warm up activity atif's animal card are torn can you help him join the pieces by drawing a line between the two parts of a card so students here are some pictures and the cards are torn and we will help him to uh, join the pieces by drawing a line between two parts of a card so let's start this activity here is half picture of a pigeon where is the second one here it is very good we will make a line to join this picture yes second picture is of a butterfly where is the second part of this picture here it is very good third picture is of a parrot where is the se uh, second half here it is next picture is of a monkey and the half part of a monkey is here last picture is of a tiger where is this half part of a tiger yes so our warm up activity is complete now we will move to the reading of this unit so let's start reading types of animals there are many kinds of animals around us they live in different places eat different foods and move differently that is why they are of different shapes and sizes some animals are big just like lion giraffe horse and elephant so students there are different kinds of animal we see many kinds of animal around us all animals are not same some are big and some are small some animals are very small some animals have four legs some insects have six legs and some insects crawl on the ground some animals have no legs and some have fins to swim and wings to fly now we will read about these animals one by one in detail you can see here some animals some animals are wild now come to the next page here is an information for you do you know the blue whale is the largest animal on earth a normal size whale could be as long as the length of three school buses put together so a blue whale is the largest animal on earth the size of a blue whale is uh, as the length of three school buses put together some animals are small cat dog rabbit rat some animals are very small ant louse mosquito and house fly some animals have four legs and a tail most of these animals can run fast some animals like the kangaroo's hoop horse dog kangaroo tiger insects have six legs many insects also have four wings to fly with a butterfly is an insect it has four wings mosquito cockroach grasshopper and butterfly so students as we have already learned that animals are of different sizes some are small and some are very small like insects cat dog rabbit and rat are small animals and they are vertebrates ant louse mosquito and flies are invertebrates some animals are vertebrates and some are invertebrates what is the difference between vertebrates and invertebrates so animals which have backbone are vertebrates and animals which do not have backbone are called invertebrates some animals have four legs just like horse dog kangaroo and tiger and they also have a tail most of animals can run fast tiger can run fast dog can run fast horse can run fast but some animals hoop just like kangaroo next we have insects insects are invertebrates 
Invertebrates tend to be small and uh, slow moves. Insects have six legs and many insects have four wings to fly just like butterfly. Butterfly is an insect and it has four wings. Mosquito sucks blood from the body. Cockroach eat other animals, other insects. Grasshopper eat grass and butterfly sucks the nectar from the flowers. Vertebrates are stronger, faster and mostly bigger than invertebrates. You can see here vertebrates are stronger and bigger in size while the insects or invertebrates are not strong and fast as compared to vertebrates. Now we will move to next page. Centipedes and caterpillars have many tiny legs. They crawl on the ground. Snakes and worms have no legs at all. They have a long tube like body. They crawl on the ground. So students, centipede, caterpillar, snake and worm, they all crawl on the ground. Centipedes and caterpillar have tiny legs but snake and worm have no legs. The structure of their body is just like a long tube. They have scales on their body. Fishes do not have legs, they have fins to swim in water. So fishes have no legs and they have fins to swim in water and on their body they also have scales to maintain the temperature of their body. Birds have two legs and two wings. Wings help them to fly, they have a beak to eat food, their body is covered with feathers. Next we have birds, spar parrot, sparrow and peacock. They have two legs and two wings. Wings help them to fly and a beak help them to eat food. Their body is covered with feathers. You can see sparrow, parrot and peacock. The body of these birds is covered with feathers. Why do birds have feathers? Feathers keep birds warm and protect the body. Feathers are so light in weight. They can also help them to fly easily. Many animals have hair or fur on their body, dog, lion, bear. So students, some animals have fur and hair on their body just like dog, lion and bear. Hair and fur help these animals to keep their body warm and protect them from rain. Some animals have scale on their body, snake, fish. Some animals have scales on their body. Just like snake and fish, they have tough scales on their body. These scales protect them from injury and prevent them from losing water. Scales provide protection from the environment and from predators. Activity. Collect pictures of different animals and paste them in your scrapbook. So students, uh, collect different uh, pictures of different animals and paste those pictures in your scrapbook. Now we will move to next page. Here we have some blanks. Insects have dash legs. Insects have six legs. Second is fishes have dash to swim in water. Fishes have fins to swim in water. Third one is insects and birds have dash to fly. Insects and birds have wings to fly. Last one is snakes have dash on their body. Snakes have scales on their body. This is an information. A group of monkeys is called a troop. What is a monkeys group called? A group of monkeys is called a troop. Next, animals live in different places. So students, now we will read about animals. Where do animals live? So animals live in different places. Some, some animals live in forests, some live in fields or gardens, some live in farms and some live in or near water. We will read about those animals in detail. So let's start. Some animals live on land. Some of them live in the forest. So students, lion, elephant, giraffe, deer, tiger and bear. Some of these live in the forest and some live on land lion elephant giraffe deer and tiger they live in the forest 
एंड बी आर लिव ऑन द लैंड और नियर द वाटर सम एनिमल्स लिव इन फील्ड्स और गार्डन्स मोनगोज रैट लिजेट स्क्र दे लिव इन फील्ड्स और इन गार्डन्स सम एनिमल्स आर केप्ट इन होम्स एज पेट और ऑन फार्म्स सो स्टूडेंट्स सम एनिमल्स लिव विद अस इन आर होम्स आर पेट एनिमल्स एंड सम एनिमल्स लिव इन फार्म्स दोज एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड फार्म एनिमल्स वी कैन कीप सम पेट एनिमल्स जस्ट लाइक कैट एंड डॉग एंड इन फार्म एनिमल्स वी हैव हैन duck goat sheep cow buffalo camel and horse some animals live in or near water so turtle fish frog and crocodile they all they all live in water or uh, they also live on land crocodile and frog can also live on land next most birds live on trees but they spend most of their time flying in the sky some birds like duck and swan can also live in on near water some animals live on trees they lay eggs on the trees and make nest but they spend their most of time uh, in flying swan and duck they live in water and they also live near those places where water is present how animals babies are produced some animals give birth to their young babies some animals lay egg some animals give birth to their young babies just like dog and cat they give birth to their young babies and some lay eggs hen and sparrow they lay eggs and little babies are born out of these eggs next again we have some clues choose the correct answer from the clues given cat cow lizard and bear First one is a farm animal which is which is the farm animal from these cow very good cow is the farm animal a pet animal which one is the pet animal cat very good an animal that lives in forest which animal lives in forest bear good an animal that lives in garden which animal lives in gardens lizard good now we will move to the exercise fill in the blanks with the correct option first one is an elephant is a dash animal small or big big very good an elephant is a big animal dash are small animals worm or tigers worms very good worms are small animals third one is most land animals have dash on their body most animal land animals have hair on their body so we will write hair in this blank next is a kangaroo can dash swim or hop hop very good fifth the body of birds is covered with dash the body of birds is covered with feathers Sixth one is a butterfly has dash to fly. A butterfly has wings to fly. A snake has dash on its body. Scales or feathers. Scales. Last one is fishes live in dash. Fishes live in tree or in water. Water. Very good. Turn over the page. B state whether the following sentences are true or false First one is a snail can run fast is it true or false Yes false a snail can run slowly not fast Second one is a lion has strips false Third one is an elephant has four legs and a tail true yes an elephant has four legs and a tail Wings help a bird to fly. Yes, wings help a bird to fly. A butterfly has four wings. Yes, a butterfly has four wings and uh, their wings help the butterfly to fly.
अडियन लिव्स इन वाटर फॉल्स अडियन लिव्स ऑन लैंड और इन फॉरेस्ट आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज नेम एन एनिमल दैट हैज अ ट्रंक सो द आंसर इज एन एनिमल दैट हैज अ ट्रंक इज एलिफेंट टू हाउ मेनी लेग्स डज अ रेबिट हैव रेबिट हैज फोर लेग्स नेम टू एनिमल्स दैट हैव फोर लेग्स एंड टेन द नेम्स ऑफ टू एनिमल्स आर गॉट एंड काव गॉट एंड काव हैव फोर लेग्स एंड अ टेन वट हेल्प अ बर्ड टू फ्लाई Wings help them to fly. Name two birds that can swim in water. Swan and duck can swim in water. Sixth one is name three animals that live on land. Lion, deer, and tiger live on land. Name three animals that are kept on farms. Hen, duck, and goat are kept on farm. Last question is where do squirrels live? Squirrels live in fields or gardens. So students. our chapter is complete i hope you enjoyed the lesson so take care and allah hafiz